spirit break out, break out walls down, spirit break out, heaven come down, our Father, die. Today we're marking the 10th anniversary of the 7-7 bombings in London. In the days following the attacks, many families had to come to terms with the horror of what had happened to their loved ones. Marie Fatayi Williams flew over from Nigeria in search of her missing son. And I, his mother, must fight to protect them. This is now the fifth day, five days on, five days on. And we are waiting to know what happened to him. And I am his mother. I need to know what happened to Anthony. Marie made that impassioned speech on the steps of St Pancras Parish Church, close to Tavistock Square, fearing the very worst for her missing son, but not yet knowing that he had been killed in the bus bomb blast. He was just 26 years old. Today, Marie has made a special trip from Nigeria to remember her son Anthony and has invited me to meet her at a memorial mass at her Catholic church. Every Lent, I go through pain of remembering Anthony's blood spilled at Tavistock Square and I remember Jesus Christ on the cross and I'm saying, he's not Christ, he's not the son of God, but yes, he's, this, he's, this, he's a child of God. God doesn't wish death on anybody, he wishes us all life. That's why Jesus died for us to live. Nobody wants pain, nobody wants to sacrifice their children. But we just sit pretty in our places of comfort zones and we don't, we don't reach out. That's, that's why I'm so pained because I, I wish I could have the magic wand to do something. If anybody can see that in having killed Anthony, they have not really served any cause then maybe I would have achieved something. That's why I'm so pained when I see that this terror thing is still so rife 10 years on. If I hate, it will eat me up. An eye for an eye will all go blind. If I wanted to go after him, after who, who, who would I want to kill? Why would I want to kill anybody? I'll cause more pain. Hatred, more hatred begets more hatred. Bitterness begets more bitterness. It's easier to forgive. As you say, the hate and the terror is still present very sadly today in the world. If we can talk about Anthony's killer, how did you come to forgive him? I consciously brought myself to pronounce his name, Hasib, Hazim. If I could say, if I could call that name, I kept telling myself, just try, 
if you could call his name, then you're on the road to being able to forgive me. You talk about coming together, and today you've come together with your fellow parishioners here in your church in London. What does it mean to you to be here today, 10 years on? It means everything. I want to just use it to say thank you to all those who stood by me, who called me, who sent me messages, because without them and their prayers, I don't think I'd be here today. This community supported me. Because one mother came to me and said, I don't know how you do it, but I couldn't imagine how I would cope if I lost my son. But look at you 10 years on, and I says, ma'am, not by my power, not by my might, but by the grace of God, go on. Well, next week, there's another chance to see Alad and Sally's Big Sing with star guests and 5,000 voices. I do hope you can join us then. But we end today's show moving over to the Monastery Manchester as the BBC Philharmonic Orchestra join the Huddersfield Choral Society for this wonderful final hymn. Bye for now. <laughs>